Hello, hello, máme tu 11. deň. A pre teba, keď začneme, je to dôležitá vec. Posledné 3 dni sme mali dosť veľký objem a chcem vám len pripomenúť, že keď sa cítiš zbytný, unavený, máš svalovicu a máš pocit, že dneska možno nie je ten najlepší nápad cvičiť, tak si daj kľudne deň pauzy. A v prípade, že sa tak necítiš, aj tak si nepripravil tréning, ale keď už včera bola Barbara a predpokladám, že nie aj ja, ale aj niektorí z vás cítia svalovicu na hodných dolných končetinách, tak pripravil som vám trošička stredu tela a aj keď chceš cvičiť, nič ty pravdepodobne nepokazíš. Takže dnešný tréning bude vyzerať prastovne, 3 až 5 pôl, vyber si podľa svojich možností a schopností, do 40 sekúnd práce, aspoň 20 sekúnd odpočinku, 5 sekúnd, 6 je celá minúta rest odpočinu. Do 40 sekúnd znamená, že dovtedy pracuješ, dokedy môžeš v čo najlepšej kvalite. Keby začínala kvalita veľmi upadať, tak si daj skôr rest, oddychuj viac a pri celej minúte chod na ďalší cvik. Pre tých, ktorí pri 40 sekúnde nič necítili, tak je možné, že ten cvik nerobíš úplne dobre, napíš mi. Ale je aj to možné, že že si tak dobrý a máš tak silný stať tela, takže kľudne choď z cviku na cvik, cvik 60 sekúnd bez pauzy a daj sa v konci celého kola minútu pauzu. Vyber 3 až 5 kola, ako som hovoril, a dneska pracujeme na strede tela. Cviky vysvetlím, ukážem v angličtine ako vždy, ideme na maďarčinu, kľudne preto, že na koniec, makaj. Hello, hello, ja sa tisne nekedy kná, és mivel utolsó napokban elég nagy volt a intenzitás és a tömege a edzéseknek, meg szeretném mondani, hogy Sánhámsúlyt szeretném, hogy ha úgy érzed, hogy ma nem jó ötlet edzeni, mert teljesen össze vagy vele, akkor nyugodtan pihenjél. De ha mégis szeretnél edzeni, akkor írtam neked egy edzést, egy törzsörvésítő edzést, amit én is majd meg fogok csinálni, és így fog kinézni. 3 és 5 kör között, 40 másodpercig munka, és legalább 20 másodperc pihenni. 5 gyakorlat, a 6 az pihenés, és ne feled, hogy ahogy érzed, próbálj legalább 3 5 kört nyomni, de ha túl nehéz kezd lenni a dolog, vagy nem tud megtartani, inkább nem tud megtartani a minőségi gyakorlatoknak, és majd kúcsúkosan fáradt, hogy akkor megyél csak hármat, vagy néhány. 40 másodpercig azt kell jelenteni, hogy ha adott gyakorlatban a minőség esik lefele, akkor nyugodtan pihenjél, és pihenjél többet a következő gyakorlatában. Elmondom angolul, mondom a gyakorlatokat, ha van valami kérdés, nyugodtan így állni. Hey guys, this is the 11 day, and I'm extremely happy that so many of you are sending me feedback that you are training these trainings every single day, and I couldn't be happier. You are doing a really great job. But I want you to want to remind you that if you feel beaten up today and you don't really feel like training, not because you're lazy, but because you're tired, then it's absolutely okay to take a rest day. Uh, last couple of days were pretty intense with a high volume, so it's okay uh, to take a rest day and continue tomorrow or continue with this tomorrow. But with this in mind, I tried to write your training today with resting the things that worked most uh, the last couple of days, and we're going to work on, on, on our course today. So today's training is three to five rounds, choose a number of rounds depending on your level of fitness and uh, up to 40 seconds work with 20 second rest, 5 exercises, the 6th one is a full minute rest. Up to means that if you feel like your quality is sagging, then stop, you don't need those 40 seconds. But if you can work and you still, you still keep the quality as high as possible, go up to 40 seconds and, and then use those 20 seconds to move to the next exercise and switch. For those of you who will feel nothing at 40 seconds, 
there is a little slight, very little possibility that you are doing it wrong, right? Here. But I believe that everybody is uh, doing their best with these exercises. Uh, and if uh, your core is so strong that 40 seconds are, uh, is not enough, then just go up to 50, 55, 60, go straight to the next exercise. Uh, if you're a ninja and you don't need a rest, serve yourself. Uh, so, let's see the exercises. First exercise is a uh, rollover from hollow hold, we've done this before, to arch hold, which you've done as well. When you roll over, you are trying to only move yourself with your core muscles and not pushing yourself off the ground with your hands. Most important thing is when you are on your back in the hollow position, push your lower back to the ground. From here, here. When you are on your belly, push your uh, belly to the ground. And that's what lifts your arms and legs. Going straight to the next exercise, it's a mountain climber. I want you to do it slow. So you get into a high plank position, pulling your knee as close to your chest as possible. Keep your core tight. It's the same as a high plank or a push-up position. Not moving your hips up and down, keeping your core tight, squeezing your butt. I will show it from the front. I don't want you to be moving your hips up and down. Next exercise. Uh, it's a working name for this. It's a bear buttons. You are going to go into a bear curl position. Your shoulders and wrists are in line, as well as your hips and your knees. Strong core. You will lift your knees off the ground, trying to move your uh, hips as little to the side or up and down, grab the bottle, move it over. Grab the bottle, move it over. And without moving your knees up and down uh, or hips to the sides, uh, you'll keep moving the bottle. You don't have to hurry, go for quality again. So, from the front, just move over. Move the bottle over. Try not to keep your, uh, your hips moving. The next exercise is a blue bridge, lie on your back, bring your heels to your butt, arms on the ground, the palms are facing up so that you don't really, you cannot really push yourself up with your hands because I want you to push yourself up with your hips. When you go up, squeeze your butt and go slowly down. Up and slowly down. If you feel like you're a ninja, you can do single leg, 20 second one side, 20 second other, but I don't want you to be losing quality for going for, for a more difficult version. The last exercise have two versions. I know many of you cannot really climb walls at home uh, because of tightness or because of the structure of the walls. If you can, the exercise is going to be a wall climb. You start lying on the ground, you go to the top of push-up position or high plank, squeeze the butt, strong core, straight elbows, and you start climbing up on the wall while keeping your core really tight. You go as high as you can, and then you walk back. And you keep walking up and down, up and down, until the end of 40 seconds. For those of you who cannot do this exercise at home, you will do a long plank or reverse uh, hollow ball. So, this is a high plank, and we get into a low plank, and you are holding yourself together, and you are holding yourself from falling on your nose with your core. So today's exercise is about quality and rest today if you need to see you tomorrow.